hi guys, it's Michelle now. I know you're sick of Susan. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. So we're going to be doing the butterfly painting in this video. I posted it on the page, so you can take a look at that. I'll just show you. That's what we're doing. Okay, so I've got my palette of primary colors and black and white. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our bigger brush and we're going to dip it in white. And you're going to start in the upper part of the canvas. And you're start doing the circles in white. And I know that seems silly because it's already white, but watch what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take the white and then I'm gonna take a little bit of blue like that. I'm gonna go around. I'm gonna keep going with blue and white. Kind of alternating it, some blue, some white. I'm gonna keep going and doing that. If it's easier for you to know when to stop, you can do a little line like that maybe. Or you can do your whole canvas like this, the blue and the white. You don't wanna over blend it. You don't want it to just be a plain light blue. So you wanna leave kind of some circles in there like that, some lines. I thought this would be a good painting for today since it's the first day of spring. It's kind of a happy picture. Everybody's a little stressed out right now, so we need a little happy in our lives. All right. If you want to, if you've painted with me before, you know that I don't like to waste the canvas, so I like to paint on the top and the sides as I'm kind of going along. Can't really see that side, but. So I'm painting very lightly. I'm not holding my brush like a pen. I'm holding it very lightly. If you can see my wrist, there's not really a lot of pressure being put on that brush. There you go. So when you get your background how you like it, like that, whoops. I goofed up a little bit, so I'm just closing that circle up a little. Doesn't have to be perfect. It's super weird doing these without you guys heckling me here. Kind of miss it. Maybe we'll do a live video sometime this week or next week. And we can read your uh, heckling comments out loud to each other. <laughs> All right, so when you get that done, so I kind of like that. I'm gonna rinse my brush out really good in my cup. I'm gonna squeeze off all that water And then we're gonna work on the grass. So I'm gonna take some blue and a little bit of yellow and I'm gonna mix it on a blank part of my palette until you get the right green. So I kinda of like that green, if you can see it. And I'm just gonna fill this in, this rest of this bottom right here with some green. For you guys following home, following along at home, if you haven't painted with me before, know that I don't recommend using water in your acrylic unless you know what you're doing. Because it'll drip down your canvas. Most of you are probably painting on a flat surface. So you can probably get away with using a little water if you need to stretch your paint out a little bit. All right, there we go. So I got that nice and smooth on there. You can kind of blend those two lines together. Okay, now I'm gonna rinse my brush out again. Squeeze 
squeeze all that water out. I'm just going to take some plain yellow and I'm going to go very carefully. I'm going to fill this line in. Not this line, sorry, this circle. Go along. Try not to touch the blue. If it's still super wet, give it just a second. Let it dry and then you can come in and fill this in later. All right, so we're gonna have to let this dry for a few minutes before we go on. All right, I got a little bit of blue in there, but it's okay. Okay. Okay, so now we're gonna have to let it dry for a little bit. All right, and I'm back. Should be nice and dry for you now. Okay, so I'm switching over to a little brush. I'm making more green, if you're wondering what I'm doing. Okay, so we're gonna work on the grass now. So all you guys are gonna do with your green is you're gonna start doing little flicks like this. Going up. Okay. Now you can mix a little bit more yellow. You can pull some yellow through there. However you want to do it. My green is drying out because I didn't mix enough. I'm gonna go all the way across and just do some little flicks. I'm starting at the bottom and going up. Oops, like that. You can add a little bit of white to it if you want to lighten some of that up, like this. Okay, wherever you want to do it. You're just making it look like there's grass at the bottom, like that. Okay. <sighs> Is anybody else as sick of the KTVB notices on their phone or whatever news station you watch? Just dinging every two seconds. Ay, ay, ay. All right. Okay, so you can put as much grass on there as you want. If you get to the point where you think that your grass is starting to blend together, give it a break, let it dry, and then you can go over it with maybe a lighter green, like a mint green. So just add a lot more white to it, and you're going to get like a real light, pretty minty kind of green like this. You can put a couple little lines through there like that. Okay. All right. So now what you're going to do is you're going to make a little bit more green if you don't have any. Okay. And you're going to do a couple longer lines like this. Like that. Maybe one right here. You could do one right here. Again, do it however you want, but these are just kind of a suggestion of where to put stuff. And then from the top, you're just gonna fan out a little bit like this. Like little fingers or little chicken feet. Do, 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 do. Chicken feet. Okay. There you go, like that. I feel like Bob Ross just talking to himself. Doo -doo. Okay, so you can have a couple more down here they don't really see, or you can, I don't know, darken it up a little bit maybe. Do a couple little chicken feet fingers down here if you want to. And then what I'm gonna have you do is I'm gonna have you take the back of your brush, the little one, you're gonna dip it in white like that, and you're just gonna start putting little white dots right here. They don't really have to go on top of the green. You're just kind of stacking them up. You don't want them perfectly lined up, so just kind of sporadic, throw it on there. You can go off to the side a little bit, like that. You're going to continue to do that on all of your little stems that you just made like 
that. Okay. Go down here and do the same thing. Now you guys can just continue to do this and fast forward through the video if you don't want to listen to me make small talk. Or little sounds, but that's what I do when I paint. I make little sounds. So Susan's here too, helping me do this first video and she's laughing at me. So I think I'm gonna put a poll up later tonight and see what you guys wanna paint next. Okay. Kinda of getting crazy with this one. You can put your little polka dots closer together too if you want to, you can really fill them in. And don't forget about, forget about these little guys down here. Okay. <laughs> Susan, you can't do that. We're gonna have to post that we don't own the rights to that song if you whistle it or hum it. Hopefully nobody can hear the music so I don't have to post that on the video. So you just keep putting your dots on however you want them. Fill it in as much as you want. Okay. All right. So I'm gonna wipe off the back of my brush. And I'm gonna rinse my little brush out. And real quick, before I pause this again, I'm gonna take my big brush and I'm gonna take a little bit of white I'm gonna kind of soften this line up a little bit around the yellow. So I'm just dragging a little bit of white over where the blue and the yellow mix, just so it doesn't look like it's just a big old blob of yellow right in the middle. Maybe I'll put a couple little tiny little streaks of yellow kind of going out here around it. Again, don't put a lot of pressure on your brush. And wait until your painting is dry before you do this or your yellow is going to turn into a green and we don't want that. Okay, so I'm going to let this dry for a little bit and let you guys catch up and then I'll be back and we will put the butterflies on. Alright, I'm back. We're going to do the butterflies. So with my little brush, I'm going to dip it in black and I'm going to go wherever I want and I'm going to do a little circle of black like this. And I know I usually don't start out with black, but I think it'll be easier to do it this way. You're gonna do black, a little black circle, and then you're gonna do like a little, kind of like a little teardrop, like this shape. Okay? And then you're gonna fill him in, like that. Give him a little pointy butt. Okay. All right, now I am going to start doing their wings. So right here where his little neck and his body start, you're gonna do a little line coming out and you're just gonna bring it back in and then you're gonna go back out and bring it in. And then you're going to go out here and bring it in and then you're gonna bring it down here like this and bring it wherever you want. All right, so then I'm just continuing my little butterfly wings like that. They look kind of funky, but that's okay. We're gonna put some color in there. They don't have to be perfect. Remember, they're, they're bugs. They don't have to be round. You can kind of square them off a little bit. There you go. And then, don't forget his little tiny antennas. Like that. Okay. All right. So now we're going to do another one. We're going to do him laying here on this little flower. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to do a little black circle. 
Okay. And we're gonna do a little body. You're just gonna kind of do a little, like a little wiggly line, sort of. You can put his little antennas on now if you want to. Like that. And instead of doing two, like I did over here, I'll continue that guy there. We're gonna just do one. So we're gonna come off here, right where his little neck meets his back, and we're gonna go up. And we're gonna bring it down and bring it back out. Like that. And maybe do go up and in a little bit more. You wanna make these a little bit smaller. Same thing. Maybe have it go up and in, and then maybe another one kind of flicking off like that. And just kind of play around with the shapes. They don't need to be perfect. Okay, then you are going to let this totally dry. So go have dinner or breakfast or whenever you're doing this. Rinse your brush out really good, dry it off. Okay, we're gonna let that dry and we're gonna come back and we're gonna fill in our butterflies and then we will be done. All right, I'm back. So we're gonna fill in the butterfly and I'm gonna make one of them orange. So you're gonna take your little brush again and I mixed yellow and some red together. And it's going to look something like this. And I'm gonna do this guy up here and I'm just gonna go along and I'm gonna fill in the wings like this. Okay. I goofed up a little bit, but I'm not too afraid because I'm gonna color it in and it's gonna cover a lot of that. And it actually might help it a little bit because you're gonna see those black lines through there. And butterfly wings sometimes have those really cool little designs in them. So see, no need to worry if you screwed up like I did. Ha! Okay. If you go too far, I did that so I could show you. If you go too far over the black, once you get it all filled in, like that, rinse your brush off, and you can touch up the black like this. Like that. You can kind of fill it in, like that. Make those lines a little bit more bold, okay. Just for giggles, I think I'm gonna make this little butterfly down here pink, just so we can play around with some colors. So I'm taking some red and I'm taking some white, and I'm just making a little bit of a pink. It's almost a bubblegum pink. Okay, and I'm just gonna go, go ahead and fill these in. You can also make a purple with your red and your blue. Lighten it up with a little bit of white. Okay. You can make a rainbow butterfly. Just get creative. So after you do this video, I want you guys to post a picture of the work that you did on my page, please. Or post it on your page, but make sure to hashtag the angry easel so we can see it. I wanna see everybody's art since I don't get to see it here. Please. And I appreciate all of you supporting us during these weird times. We're going to have a few more kits available, so if you know anybody that needs them, let me know. Um, I'm not sure how the Amazon thing's working right now, if they're actually not shipping out, but I did put that link up there. Um, you don't have to buy that stuff. That just kind of gives you an idea of what I'm telling you that you need for these projects. So you don't have to buy that exact same stuff, but That'll at least give you a starting point. So what I'm doing now is I'm just going back over like I did with the orange with the black and I'm kind of giving it an outline, cleaning it up a little bit. Oh, look at that. Okay. If you want to be real creative, you can put a couple little polka dots on there. Kind of whatever you want to do. Just have fun with your little guy. Okay. Make these guys a little pointier. There. All right, once you're done with that, you can rinse out your brush. You can go back over some of your grasses if you wanna add more grass. Um, I added just a tiny speck of black to my green. Put a couple little gray lines in there. Kinda 
whatever you want to do. And the last part, don't forget to flip it over and paint that part green right there. Okay. Let it dry. I'm going to do all of it right now. And then voila, you have your painting. So I will uh, post something in the next day and see what you guys want to paint for the next painting. So be watching for that. Have a good night, guys. Thank you. Stay safe out there. Bye.